In this video, I will demonstrate how to calculate the static power and dynamic power in CMOS digital circuits using Cadence Virtuoso. Here for the demonstration, I have taken a CMOS inverter setup with a load 10 femtofarad. First, I will show how to calculate the static power of this CMOS inverter circuit. Here I have added two sources. One is a DC source to perform the DC analysis and the second one is a pulse source to perform the transient analysis used for dynamic power. To calculate the static power, I am enabling this DC source by using shift delete and assign the variable as V in or you can use zero volt supply. Right now I am assigning the variable as V in. Since we have changed this circuit, check and save. Go to the launch, click on ADL, it opens the ADL window. Here you have to choose the analysis. For choosing the analysis either you can click here or you can click on edit. Select the DC, save DC operating point. Before that you need to add the design variable. For that just right click in this space and copy from cell view because we have assigned a design variable and its value is set to 0. Then you select the analysis. Choose DC, save operating point, click on design variable, select the design variable, click on V in. That was the design variable which we have taken and sweep the design variable from 0 to 1, maximum value of 1. That is what is the VDC we have provided and select the outputs to be plotted from here. Click edit from the design. I want to plot V in, V out and the current that is drawn into this circuit because this is the current which enters into this circuit. Select this. So now this is the current which is drawn into the circuit. I want to plot these three. Click OK. Once the setup is done, click netlist and run. Before that, you load the model libraries. Because I am using the PTM models for the simulation purpose. This is the general voltage transfer characteristics of a CMOS inverter. From this plot, current plot, you can predict what is the static power for NMOS and PMOS. Right now, at this point, the value is high. That means NMOS is in an off state and this is the power or current at 0 volt. For 0, it has a static power of or static leakage current of 469.27 nanoamps. Similarly, if the PMOS is in an off condition, you can use marker here. See the value. Now this is the leakage current for a maximum value of 1 volt. It has 811.12 nanoamps of leakage current. For V in is equal to 0. In this way, you can calculate the static as static leakage currents that are flowing from the NMOS on this side and for PMOS. Next, I'll show you how to calculate the dynamic power. The process is simple. For static power, we have used the DC source. But for dynamic, you can use the pulsed source. So just disable this by using the shift delete. 
and enable the pulsed source by using the shift delete option this is not part of the circuit now this is a part of a circuit check and save the design to see the object properties i have provided the vns it is not part of that so only provide the voltage 0 1 and period of the pulse is 20 with the rise time of 100 picosecond fall time of 100 picosecond and pulse width is 10 nanoseconds check and save the design and vdc is again 1 volt already the edl window is there so choose the analysis right click this time select the transient i want to simulate it for 50 nanoseconds disable the dc analysis and i want to have other currents in addition to this so right click from the design i want to have the current that is entering it is already there now what is the current that is entering into the pmos select this and the current that is entering into the nmos which is the source of pmos and this is the drain of nmos so i have added three currents to be plotted addition with v in and v out total five plots click on ok now you have loaded with the source means this is for pmos drain is for nmos click on netlist and run click on this split all strips so these are the currents which are obtained for transient analysis if you observe that this is the current which is drawn from the supply from here it is drawn now whenever the output is in a positive rising current is drawn this shows that it has a switching from minimum to maximum value and that's why the pmos this is a source source current the pmos has drawn the current from the supply similarly in the falling mode the current goes towards the ground so this is nothing but the switching characteristics that's why it is called as a dynamic currents for pmos and nmos to compute the dynamic power consumption select this current that is drawn from the supply send it to calculator this is loaded with the expression here we have a function we have the function see just place the cursor at the beginning click on function tab you have average then because this is the average current multiplied by multiplied by the input voltage input voltage is nothing but the vdd which has the value of 1 volt then click on evaluate the buffer so the dynamic power consumption by this cmos circuit is around 1.13 micro watts this is the power consumed from the source for this circuit let me close this so this is the power that is consumed by the circuit from the source but the total power 
is a combination of static power and dynamic power. In this way, you can compute the powers. You can send it to the buffer. If you click on this and close this, it is loaded into the EDL window. 